painting course has been on semi-public display for a long time, and all manner of critics, criticisms, <coughs> erudite practitioners have looked at it, and there are many fascinating characteristics. Sometimes you wonder if some of them are somewhat apocryphal. For example, there are three vanishing points. As we all know, though we've got bifocal lens and don't walk around with one eye, from the majority of conveniences, there's only one vanishing point in our particular world. You will also find that all the perspective lines, which are carefully organized, certainly to make the thing satisfactory, deeply reflect to the place in which it is in. It's one of those few paintings that's still exactly, uh, it's still in the same place of which it's intended. So when you find, remember we talked the other day, there's only one good seat in every cinema, it's G17. When you find your G17 position, and you can be certain it's marked on the floor in the marble, what would be called, I suppose, in Renaissance terms, the king's seat. You know how Renaissance perspective was really basically organized for one person who would be the most important person in the room, which would normally be the monarch. So everybody had to make do with second best. There is a way here, in order to make that perfect G17 seat, there are three vanishing points to make sure that the elevations are working properly. But there is obviously a last supper table if you look at the perspective of the table, it's operating on a completely different level from the rest of the painting. And if, in fact, you were to reproduce that in three-dimensional terms, all the objects would fall off the table. There's also a feeling that there are uh, 48 objects on that table. Uh, beakers, knives and forks, chicken bones, slices of orange, plates. And when they're arranged, and you look at them from a top plan, they are supposed to represent the known plan of the cosmography of the universe at that one time. It is curious that there is a particular planet on that cosmography which does represent Pluto. And of course, the rest of the world never discovered Pluto. Now it's really demoted to an asteroid, but once upon a time a planet, until about 1909. So one could almost say apocryphally that uh, da Vinci had discovered a protoplanet which nobody else has discovered. The outlining of the hands of the fingers with the fingers pointing, when they are put together, you can make a musical tune out of them. Not exactly amazingly amazing musical tune, but it was one which uh, several composers during the Baroque period actually used as the basis for a symphonic form. Um, other, other characteristics are the notion of once upon a time there was a painted city in those three um, windows behind Christ, St. Peter and St. John, and they've all miraculously disappeared. And people have constantly tried to resurrect that city and find an identity for it. 